Hello, Gareth here, and this video is just a quickie, and uh, it's about what you do when you make a cauliflower. So I was painting this picture, and um, I left it, and I came back after it had dried and was horrified to see this cauliflower here. So uh, at first I panicked, but then I realized that I can, I can solve this problem and I'm going to show you how. Now, this might not work in all situations and there's different techniques I think you can use, but I'm going to show you one today, just one, but um, you might find it useful sometime. So here we go. So have a good look. It did look worse when it was wet, actually. So that's another thing. I think the cauliflowers look worse when the paint is wet. And when it's thoroughly dried, it does tend to fade a little. But let's see if we can get rid of it. So I've got a mop brush. And the first thing I'm going to do is wet the area. Now, the reason I'm wetting the area is because I'm going to add paint and I want the paint to not have a have a hard edge so the paper needs to be wet so that's the first thing and to be honest I might even be able to get rid of it just by doing this if I kept on like this but you do have to be careful with doing this because the more you brush over the same area, you do eventually begin to shift the paint. And that actually can be um, bad. Normally it's bad, especially the darker the area. It becomes very noticeable. Here we're quite lucky, it's quite light. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is get some yellow ochre. That's what I originally used. And I'm going to do this. Now I wipe this on the rag because there's too much paint, too much water, and I want to soften it off. Can you see that? So very easy. So a bit of yellow ochre and a touch of red. Mix that up and uh, begin there and blend that in. And then a bit more red. Now I'm dabbing my brush on the rag because I can see I've got a lot of water here. And if I'm not careful, that will become a, a new cauliflower. <laughs> so now I've done two. And then just blend that in. Now below, we've got a line forming. So I wet my brush, I wipe it on the rag. That's so important. Then it's too dry, so wet it again, and then on the rag again. And then I begin here, maybe touch with the tissue. It's a delicate thing, this. And then up and down, up and down, like that. And then like that. So you develop a sensitivity for the moisture, how much moisture is on your brush, how much moisture is on the paper. And little by little, you get good at doing this fixing. So perhaps what I need to do now to stop another cauliflower happening is this. So let's lift this paper up. Then this edge here is the dangerous bit. So just get some tissue. And I just wanna run along that edge like that. Just run along the edge. And then hopefully that way 
it's not going to be too watery and lead to another cauliflower. This one is a bit more difficult to do and I don't think I need to do it. I don't think it's too wet. It's difficult to do because of this spiral, but I think that should be okay. I could always tilt it like that and then that way it should be okay. So I might leave it like that. That way the water is not going to accumulate there. It's going to run down because it's tilted. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. As you can see, I've got a little bit of an edge there. So um, you can just do this. <laughs> Finger. But you do have to be careful because look what's happening. It's a delicate touch. That should be okay. So, but it's this bit that I want to show you today. And look, I think if you look, that cauliflower now has disappeared. Now we'll have a look when it's dry. Okay, it has completely dried. And as you can see, the cauliflower has completely disappeared. So this is a technique you can use when you're using light colours. If it's a darker colour like a blue or purple, I'm not sure if this will work. I think it will, but especially with light colours, it's very easy to do. So for example, if you're doing a sky, then and you get a big cauliflower in your sky, then it is possible to wet the paper, use the same colours, go over it again, and hopefully the cauliflower should disappear. And uh, you haven't wasted your piece of paper and you can continue with the rest of the painting. So I hope that was useful. Oh yeah, was I looking in the right place? It should be here. So, um, so maybe very, very faintly, but I think it's a pretty good, pretty good result. And of course, we could even do it one more time if we really wanted to. So if you make a mistake in watercolour, it isn't game over. There are ways of correcting mistakes. And here is the final painting. I'm really happy with it, especially that path that was done with splattering. Anyway, the main point is if you look at the sky, you can hardly see that cauliflower now. So uh, I probably should uh, go over it one more time using the technique I showed you and then hopefully it will disappear completely but I think that's good enough. So um, if you want to have a go at removing cauliflowers then maybe first you need to learn how to make a cauliflower and how you make a cauliflower mark is you make a mix maybe something like this yellow ochre with a touch of alizarin crimson and then you paint it on the paper. You leave it until it's quite dry, not completely dry, but getting to the drying point. Then what you do is you add some more of your mix to it, some of your wet mix from your palette, and hopefully that should create a cauliflower. Then after it's all dried, please use the technique I showed you, basically wetting the whole paper and then using the same colour and going over it again. Please use that technique and see if you can get rid of your cauliflowers. So there you go. I hope you found that useful. And if there are any problems you have with watercolour painting, then please tell me in the comments, because that gives me an idea about what videos to make in the future. And uh, if it was useful, then please like. It really is appreciated. So that's all. Bye for now and happy painting.